So, now we will calculate uh, what the optimal policy and the optimal uh, and the value function or the cost to go is for the particular inventory control problem that we defined in the in the previous lecture. So, once again what we will be doing is use the dynamic programming algorithm. So, we will so apply the DP algorithm for the above problem. So, that is going to be our uh, our task for now. So, we let us let us uh, uh, let us write out a generic uh, a generic step uh, and also write out the terminal step. Now, since the terminal if you recall the terminal cost that we had assumed was equal to equal to 0 here. So, g n of x n was was taken as 0. So, and since we are talking of uh, time n equal to 3 as the time period. So, now what we will we'll write this for k equal to 3. So, for k equal to 3 we have that j 3 of x 3 is equal to 0 and we, we have this for all x 3 ok. So, for all values of x 3 j 3 of x 3 is equal to 0. Now, for, a, for an intermediate k, so that means for k less than 3 and k greater than equal to 0. In other words, for let me write this differently for k equal to 0, uh, 0, 1 or 2, then we have we, we can write j k of x k is equal to the minimum over u k. What is u k uh, required to be? Well, u k is, is constrained to be between 2 minus x k and 0. The expectation now is over, uh, the expectation is of this particular cost. The cost is sum of the stage wise cost, which is remember the stage wise cost comprised of these two terms here. The uh, 1 times u k that is just u k plus this particular term the squared term here ok. This, this was our stage wise cost. So, u k plus x k plus u k minus w k the whole squared plus the cost to go. Now, the cost to go is for the next time step. So, that is j k plus 1 of x k plus 1 and x k plus 1 can be written from these state dynamics that we have here. So, x k plus 1 is given by this particular expression. So, I will now write that here. So, that is just simply the max of 0 and x k plus u k minus w k. So, this is therefore, j k of j k of x k ok. Now, we have we now should we will actually do this for every every value of k. So, let us write this for k equals 2. So, for k equals 2 notice that the uh, the since the demand that the since the amount of stock that we order and the amount of demand that we have can are can take only non negative integer values. The inventory can also only take non negative in, in, uh, uh, the stock that you have at any time period can also take only non negative integer values. And since you cannot have uh, uh, so, so there so the only the only possible uh, uh, possible values that the inventory uh, can take the amount of uh, stock that you have at the beginning of time at any, with the beginning of any time period can only take integer values in this particular problem in the, in, it can, and in particular non negative integer values. And the reason for that is simply that we can, we can only order we can only order uh, uh, an inventory uh, we can only order uh, 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 integer quantities and the demand also is realized in terms of integers. 
So, you can after a little bit of reflection it will become clear that the, the amount of inventory at any time step can only take 3 possible values in fact which is 0, 1 or 2. So, x k can take 3 possible values 0, 1 or 2 right. Well, in that case let us write out now j2 of x2 for each of these values ok. So, j2 of x2 for each of these values. So, so j2 of let us write this first for x2 equal to 0. So, so for x2 equal to 0 we are now writing j2 of 0. Well, j2 of 0 is equal to the minimum over the minimum over u2. Now, x2 is 0 right now x2 is 0 which means uh, if x2 is, uh, is is 0 then u2 can can take values up and from either for either 0, 1 or 2. So, notice this particular constraint that we have u2 if x2 is 0 then the right hand side here is 2 and left hand side is 0. So, u2 can take values either 0, 1 or 2. So, u2 in can be 0, 1 or 2 and the expectation the cost is the expectation of u2 plus x2 plus u2 minus w w2 squared ok. Now, what was x2? Well, we said x2 was was 0. So, what I will just remove this term altogether and simply write this as u2 minus w2 the whole square plus the cost uh, uh, the, co the, the cost to go at the at the last step. Well, the cost to go at the last step here is already defined here that is j3 of x3 is equal to 0 for any stage s any state x3. So, consequently this is also 0. So, in other words the final cost after I will erase all of these things and write this as my final cost. So, j2 of 0 is equal to the minimum over u2 where u2 can be 0, 1 or 2 of u2 plus u2 minus w2 the whole squared. Now, the, ex exp the expectation here is over w2 because w2 is the only thing that is random out here. Now, w2 is random and can take remember 3 possible values according to this according to this probability distribution that we have written here. So, w uh, so, w, so this expression here can be expanded out I can write this as minimum over u2 in 0 1 or 0 1 or 2 expectation of u2 plus now this what I will do now is ex write out this expectation actually in uh, in detail. So, I will write this as u2 plus now the, the w2 equal to 0 happens with probability 0 0.1. So, I would get 0 0.1 times u2 squared plus now w2 equal to 1 happens with probability 0 0.7. So, this is going to be 0 0.7 times u2 minus 1 the whole square plus w2 equal to 2 happens with probability 0 0.2. So, this is 0 0.2 times u2 minus 2 the whole square. So, this is now uh, the, uh, the expression that we get and we want to minimize this over all possible choices of over the possible choices of u2 the choices that are listed here which is 0, 1 or 2 ok. So, now let us let us do this computation it turns out that if I if u2 is 0. So, if u2 is equal to 0 then this expression evaluates to let us write this out. So, if u2 is 0 then then the then I get 0, 0 and 0 0.7 times 1 squared which is just 1. So, if u2 is equal to 0 this is going to be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.2 into uh, into 2 square which is 4 
and that becomes equal to 1.5. Similarly, if u 2 is equal to 1 I can again do this calculation and it turns out that this is this expression after after doing the appropriate calculations turns out to be 1.3 you can you can check this yourself. Okay. And finally, u 2 equal to 2 I, I, get, I can calculate compute this again and that gives me 3.1. So, if I do these compare these 3 numbers here u 2 equal to 0 is giving me 1.5, u 2 equal to 1 is giving me 1.3 and u 2 equal to 2 is giving me 3.1. What this is act telling me is that if I was at, uh, at the beginning of time period 2 and if I did not uh, and I started off with 0 inventory at time if I had 0 inventory at time period 2 then ordering nothing would give me a uh, would uh, would give me a, uh, a cost of 1.5 ordering 1 unit would give me a cost of 1.3 and ordering 2 units would give me a cost of 3.1. What this is effectively saying is doing nothing would would give us a, a cost of 1.5 and ordering too much is also costly it gives you a cost of 3.1. The right thing to do is order the in between number which is which is 1. This gives us the, the minimum the minimum cost for starting at time period 2 with 0 inventory. So, if you are starting off with 0 inventory at time period 2, the optimal thing for you to do would be to order 1 unit of inventory. Okay. So, the optimal thing here, the optimal one is this is optimal. In other words, u 2 star of u 2 star equal to mu 2 star of 0. Okay, at zero is is equal to is uh, is equal to one. All right. So the expectation has uh, has been computed here. So as a result, we find that you uh, the optimal thing to do is to uh, is to order one unit one one unit. Let us see what the what the value function amounts to, which is what what is this this particular expression we found that this expression is actually 1.3. So, we have got therefore, mu 2 star of 0 is equal to 1 and j, j 2 of 0 is equal to 1.3. Now, we are not done with stage 2 yet because the same has to be done now for another value of x 2. Now, x 2 can suppose x 2 takes value 1. Now, if x 2 takes value 1 then again I can I need to do this I need to write j 2 of 1 as equal to the minimum. Now, remember remember we have that u k can be only is between 0 and 2 minus x k. Now, my x 2 is equal to 1. So, u k is between 0 and 1 which means u k can take only 2 possible values which is either 0 or 1. Okay. So, this is so u u 2 now is either 0 or 1 expectation is let us write out this expectation again. Again you have u 2 plus x 2 is 1. So, it is 1 plus u 2 minus w 2 the whole square that is the expectation. So, this is now the minimum over u 2 in the 0 or 1 and this particular expression let us uh, let us evaluate this expe uh, expectation it is u 2 plus w 2 equal to again 0 happens with probability 0 0.1. So, it is 0 0.1 times 1 plus u 2 squared plus 0 0.7 0 0.7 times u 2 squared plus 0.2 times u 2 minus 1. I got 0.7 times u 2 squared this is by taking w 2 equal to 1 that happens with probability 0.7 and the last one here is by taking w 2 equal to 2. Okay, so, it gives me u 2 minus 1 the whole square with probability 0.2. So, that is the expectation. Once we uh, we can now write this out 
uh, what is going to be uh, what and compute this for each value of u2. So, let us write this out for u2 equal to 0. So, u2 equal to 0 gives us uh, uh, the exp this expression becomes again 0 0.1 now 0 0.1 into 1 plus 0 0.7 into 0 plus 0.2 into 1. So, that is actually equal to just 0 0.3 and u2 equal to 1 is gives me 1 plus 0.1 into into 2 square which is let me write this as 4 plus 0.2 plus 0.7 sorry into u2 equal to 1. So, that is into 1 plus 0.2 u2 equal to 1 that is again that becomes 0. So, if I evaluate this, this is 0.7 plus, uh, plus 0.4 plus 1 and that, that evaluates to 2.1. So, again we can compare the two. So, if you are starting with in an inventory of, of, of 1 unit ordering nothing costs you the optimum uh, costs you 0.3 and ordering an additional unit costs you 2.1. So, the optimal thing to do in that case is to order nothing at all. Mu 2 star of 1 is equal to 0 and J 2 of 1 is equal to so, what is J2 of 1? Well, it is the cost that we just computed here. So, it's, it is 0 0.3. So, now let us do this for x2 equal to 2 which was the only remaining value. So, when, if, when x2 is equal to 2, note, notice that because u2 is, uh, is going to be between 0 and 2 minus x2, this basically tells us u2 can only take one value which is, which is u2 equal to 0. In other words, there is nothing to optimize over right uh, out here the j2 of j2 of 2 is simply equal to the expectation of the same the, the, the same cost but with u2 equal to 0 which is which is now which now amounts to 2 minus so the the cost is this with u2 equal to 0 let me write out the cost u2 plus x2 plus u2 minus w2 x2 plus u2 minus w2 the whole squared and with u2 equal to 0 ok. So, then in that case uh, this is simply the expectation of remember x2 is 2. So, 2 plus this minus so, it is going to be 2 minus w2 squared and the expectation of that. The expectation of that one can quickly evaluate is actually turns out to be 1.1. So, consequently we find that we find that mu2 star of 2 is also 0 and j2 of 2 j2 of 2 is 1.1 ok. This now completes the calculation for time period 2. One can now do this for uh, do the same for time period 1. So, time period 1 let us let us go to now write for k equal to 1. So, k equal to 1 again we have 3 possible uh, 3, 3 possible states. Once again we have possibility that x2 is equal to 0. So, let us begin with that. So, for x2 equal to 0 we are now calculating j1 of 0. j1 of 0 is the minimum of now dub since x2 uh, sorry, not x2 it is x1 equal to 0. We are now calculating j1 of 0 which is the minimum of u1 when uh, in in the constraint uh, that satisfies the constraints that we have we have uh, since x1 is equal to 0, u1 can take any of these 3 possible values 0, 1 or 2. Okay. So, now the 
expectation now is over over w 1 of this of the same expression as we had earlier. We now have the stage wise cost again stage wise cost with uh, when the state is equal to 1 is given by u 1 plus u 1 minus w 1 squared plus then the the now the cost to go the cost to go at time period 2. So, that is j 2 of let us do max of the j 2 uh, has to be evaluated at the next stage at the next state right. So, this will be j 2 of the max of 0 comma the state at the next time step was max of 0 comma u 1 minus w 1. So, it is actually x 1 plus u 1 minus w 1, but x 1 is equal to 0 which is what we are assuming here. So, therefore, it becomes just this, this is the expectation that we need to calculate. We want to evaluate this for every uh, for each of these uh, for each of these values. So, now we need what we need to do here is substitute the values of j 2 that we found from 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 out here. So, j 2 was computed here in these 3 for these in these 3 pieces here. So, that needs to be substituted out here ok. So, let us uh, let us just do that that is that can be uh, that can be done. So, we suppose if if u 1 is if you it turns out that if u 1 is equal to 0 then I the, will just do this expect this calculation once. So, with u 1 equal to 0 the first term disappears and we are left with w 1 uh, square here. So, uh, so, so this will again the, the, the cost becomes so with u 1 equal to 0 we can we can compute this uh, we can compute this expectation here. So, since u 1 is equal to 0 this term the first term u 1 here is 0 the u 1 here is also 0 and u 1 here is also 0 ok. So, then therefore, we are we have now 0 0.1 times the so point 0.1 is the probability that w 1 is 0. So, if w 1 is also 0 the first term and the second term are 0 only thing left is the is the second term is the third term. So, it is this times j 2 now of 0 which is max of 0 0 0 right. So, j 2 of 0 plus 0 0.7 times ok. Now, what is this? Well, it is uh, we are we now need to take w equal to 1. So, if u 1 is 0 this is 0 and we are left with, we have the only the second and the third term with w equal to 1. So, 0 0.1 in 0 0.7 into 1 plus now if w is equal to 1 and u 1 is uh, and and we are talking of u 1 equal to 0 then it then the max of this also evaluates to 0. So, you get just j 2 of 0. plus 0 0.2 times the uh, 0 0.2 times the uh, again this expectation uh, again this term. So, that that evaluates to now with we are talking of w equal to 2. So, this is will be 4 plus j 2 of of whatever remains. So, again here when w 2 is equal to 2 once again what is inside the uh, the argument of j 2 is all again going to be 0 and we are left with again j 2 of 0 ok. Now, we can substitute from here the j 2 of 0 that we had which is 1.3 substitute that back there and that gives you uh, that gives you the final this particular expression as 2.8. One can similarly do this for u for u 1 one can do this for u 1 uh, u 1 equal to 1 for u 1 equal to 1 you you would see that this cost evaluates to 2.5 and u 1 equal to 2 sorry this is u 1 equal to 2 this evaluates to 3.68 so consequently we we find that we 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 find that the optimal action then in state uh, at time 1 when the state is 0 the optimal action is actually u 1 equal to 1 right. So, we find that mu 1 now star of 0 is, is in fact equal to 1 
and j 1 of 0 is 2.5 ok. So, that gives us this particular uh, this uh, the, uh, the optimal that gives us the optimal thing to do when you are in state uh, state 0 at time 1. W one can repeat the same ca same sort of calculation once again and get that get I will write this out for you here I, you get j 1 of now state state 1 turns out to be 1.5 and mu 1 star of 1 turns out to be 0 and j 1 of 2 turns out to be 1.68 and mu 1 star of 2 turns out to be 0 ok. This is k equal to 1 and then finally, we have we, we can we need to this now completes the stage k equal to 1 and one can now need needs one needs to now do this for k equal to 2 as well uh, sorry k equal to one now needs to do this for k equal to 0 as well. So, at you again have at the similar a similar sort of expression at k equal to 0 and again for for each of the possible uh, state values of uh, for of the of the state at 0. Now, uh, since we uh, since we are given that the initial state is 0, we only need to calculate j 0 of 0. So, j 0 of 0 is all I am going to write out and this now is can be you can check is given by u 0 which is minimum over u 0 which is from 0 1 and 2 the expectation of u 0 plus 0 minus w 0 square plus j 1 now of the max of 0 comma u 0 minus w 0. Once we uh, again we can compute this uh, compute all, uh, uh, what we are looking for and it turns out. So, if you take action u, u 0 equal to 0 the expectation evaluates to 4. If you take action u, u 0 equal to 1 the expectation evaluates to 3.7 and you take action u 0 equal to 2 it evaluates to 4.818. All of this put together now tells us that the optimal action uh, for us to choose in state 0 at time 0 is 3 uh, is 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 to order 1 unit 1 unit in uh, 1 unit of inventory. So, it tells us that mu 0 star of 0 is equal to 1 and j 0 of 0 is equal to 3.7. So, this therefore, is the optimal cost of our problem j 0 of 0 is which is 3.7 is actually the optimal uh, the optimal cost that we incur starting from 0 inventory. And uh, the policies that we need to adopt are uh, is that at initially you order 1 and then thereafter you order based on based on the these policies based on what the state gets realized as. So, at time 1 you order based on mu 1 star at time 2 you order based on mu 2 star where the uh, the these intermediate j's that we have computed are only as uh, are, 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 are serve as intermediate calculations the the final calculation the final total cost that we that uh, that we would incur starting at stage uh, at stage 0 with with 0 inventory is 3.7 and that is given here ok. So, with this we uh, we have completed a complete analysis of the inventory control problem.